If we were living in an idyllic type of world, I would be jobless, you know? Bees will have all the nutrition that they need. They will have uh, sugar from the, uh, from the flowers. They will have uh, protein from the pollen. But this is not what's happening. I'm uh, Rigon Calvis. I'm a beekeeper, honeybee researcher, and an uh, entrepreneur in this uh, bee lab. So today we are in Whiteham Field Station, part of the Oxford University, where we do uh, mostly animal behaviour studies. We have a group of hawks, uh, chickens, fish and honeybees. If we didn't have bees to do pollination, we'd only be eating you know, wheat and rice. We didn't have vegetables, broccoli, apples, pears, and all this huge diversity of colours and nutritional sources that we can have. So bees are a fundamental part of our food security ecosystem. And if we harm them, and if they collapse, you know, we'll be in huge trouble. So the research that we are doing are helping them in a very crucial way to the bee survival in the years to come. On this day and age, environment is changing. Climate change is a pressure to, to our society and to honeybees as well. And the farming practices is putting uh, huge pressure on them. In a lot of months of the year, they don't have enough food uh, for their survival, so they need to be artificial fed. So beekeepers are feeding artificial food to bees since the 60s, and it's increasing year by year. What we are doing is try to find the optimal type of food that the bees can live longer and they can generate the most offspring. We currently are collaborating with uh, three different groups. We collaborate with beekeeping associations as well. And, and this is important because if, if you are on your own lab, you don't get new ideas, you don't generate new ideas. So talking with the people that face the challenges of, of the real world, you know, you know what their problems are and, and you try to solve it. It's like a more applied, applied research. So I hope that the research that we are doing can help the sustainability of honeybees and can bring them more stamina and fitness to the ever-changing world. What we could achieve is having bees in remote places where their nutritional resources is not sustained, is not in, 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 a, in a standard way, but uh, local people need the bees for their food security. So there's a lot of talk about, you know, uh, human be outside of Earth, like terraforming Mars or going to ex extra planets. And they will bring plants there, you know, and plants will have flowers and will give food to the, to the new humans. But they will also need bees, right, to do the pollination and to bear fruit. So if we can find a way, you know, to also take, take bees along, I think that will be crazy, having <laughs> extraplanetary bees. <laughs>